Hello everyone! In this video I'll show you how to crochet a cardigan. Complete details about the project are available at underunit.com slash crochet reclan sleeve cardigan shrug. On this webpage you may share pictures of your work and ask questions if any. Begin crocheting from the top to bottom. Make a foundation chain of 47 chains. One repeat is four chains. First row, insert the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work double crochet one. Then work your first corner or shell. With that work double crochet four into one chain. After the double crochet four into one chain, skip two and work one repeat. Work double crochet two into one chain. Then into the following chain again work double crochet two into one chain. My repeat is skip two, double crochet two into one chain twice. Then just repeat. Work one more repeat. Skip two, double crochet two into one chain. And one more time, double crochet two into the following chain. After the first corner, I worked two repeats for the shoulder part and now I will work again a corner. Skip two and work a shell. Double crochet four and do one chain. And the second corner, work the back part. Work your back part as your shoulder part, but work four repeats instead of two. Again, after the second shell, work four repeats for the back part, then skip two, work a shell again, for the third corner. After the third corner, work the second shoulder part as the first one. Work two repeats. After the second shoulder part, work last corner. Double crochet four into one chain and then work double crochet two into the very last chain. At the end of the row, work one returning chain. For the second and all even rows, work single crochet to end. Insert the hook into the second chain from your hook, work single crochet one, and then continue single crochets to end. At the end of each even row, work two returning chains.
Work your last single crochet under chains. Two returning chains and turn. Third row. Insert the hook into the third chain from your hook and work double crochet one. Then work two double crochets into the following chain. Then just double crochet one. And then work increase. Work two double crochets into one chain. Chain one and then two double crochets into the following chain. And that work double crochets to your following corner. For the first row between first and second corners, I have 10 chains. So now I should have 10 double crochets between my corners. So after 10 double crochets work the corner. Double crochet 2, chain 1, double crochet 2 and 1 chain. Then work double crochets to your following corner. Again, between the second and the third corners or shells, you should have 18 chains. Now you should have 18 double crochets and work the third corner again. After the third corner, work 10 double crochets just like here and the last corner. After the last corner, work double crochet one and then double crochet two into one chain twice. At the end of the each double crochet row work one returning chain and then work just single crochet row. Again at the end of each single crochet row work two returning chains and turn. Row 5, insert the hook into the fourth chain from your hook and work two double crochets into one chain. And then again, work two double crochets into the following chain. Skip two, this is my one repeat. And then work the corner. Two double crochets into one chain, two double crochets into the following chain. Chain one 
and then work again two double crochets into one chain two double crochets into the following chain and then work just repeat to your following corner and again one repeat is two double crochets into one chain twice and then skip two skip two two double crochets into one chain and so on again work the same repeats between corners for the fifth row as you did for the first one at the end of the row after last repeat work just one double crochet one returning chain and then work single crochet row row seven insert the hook into the third chain from your hook and work double crochet one and then work double crochets to your corner When you crochet to your first corner, after double crochet 8, work one with stitch above the chain of one row before the previous row with stitch. Double crochet 1, chain 1, double crochet 1 and do the same base chain. After the with stitch, double crochet to your following corner and then work with stitch above the chain and then just repeat double crochet to your following corner with stitch and so on again work one with stitch into each corner after last double crochet 8, work 2 double crochet into the very last chain and 1 returning chain. Now repeat the pattern starting from the first row, working more repeats between corners. Row 9, insert the hook into the third chain from your hook and work double crochet 1. Then work repeats, skip two, double crochet two, and do one chain twice. And work double crochet four into one chain for the corner after the shell again continue working repeat skip two double crochet two into one chain twice to your following corner Again, work one shell or double crochet four into one chain above each with stitch of one row before the previous row 
and between corners of work just repeats. At the end of the row, after last repeat, work double crochet two into one chain and one returning chain. Crochet your row 11, like your third row, working more double crochets between corners and use a larger size crochet hook to widen the garment. Insert the hook into the third chain from your hook work double crochet one. Then work two double crochets into one chain. And then work double crochets to your corner. Finish your row 11, just like your third row, work double crochet 2 into one chain and double crochet 2 into the very last chain. At the end of the row, work one returning chain and turn. Crochet your row 13 like your row 5, working more repeats between corners. Again, insert the hook into the first chain from your hook, then work repeats to your corner, work two double crochets into one chain twice, chain one, skip one, and again just repeat two double crochets into one chain twice, then work repeats to your following corner. When you crochet 28 rows, begin your row 29 as your row 5 using a larger size crochet hook. Insert the hook into the first chain from your hook and work the repeats to your corner. Again, after the initial chains, work 7 repeats and then work double crochet 2 into 1 chain 3 times. Last double crochet 2 into 1 chain should be above your V stitch. Then skip the whole shoulder part and again above V stitch above middle chain, work double crochet two into one chain, and then work repeats to your following corner. The pattern requires multiples of four chains, so you may add more than four chains if you want to make the fabric wider. For the back part, repeat the pattern 11 times and then again work double crochet 2 
into one chain three times. Skip the shoulder part and again work double crochet two into one chain above the waist stitch. And then work repeats to end of your row. At the end of the row, add a last double crochet one into the very last chain. Work just one returning chain and then work single crochet row. After the single crochet row, insert the hook into the third chain from your hook and work double crochet one. Then work double crochets to end. At the end of the double crochet row, work double crochet two into one chain and one returning chain, then work a single crochet row. Other than the initial chains, I have 123 double crochets. You should have multiples of four chains. And this double crochet row is my last increase row. Now work rows without increasing chains. Insert the hook into the first chain from your hook and work double crochet one. Then work two double crochets into one chain. And now work repeats to end of the row. Skip two, two double crochets into one chain twice and so on. At the end of the row, after last repeat, work double crochet two into one chain, then just two double crochets, and one returning chain. Then work single crochet row. Now work the double crochet row without increasing chains. So insert the hook into the first chain from your hook and work double crochets to end. At the end of the row work one returning chain. And then just repeat the pattern. After the double crochet row work single crochet row then pattern row and again single crochet row and so on. Just repeat the four row pattern. When you repeat the four row pattern about three times or crochet 12 rows, begin crocheting the four row pattern decreasing chains. For that work double crochet rows as usual as before and decrease two chains in each single crochet row. So in each repeat you need to decrease four chains to make the pattern work. So work single crochet two and then skip to decrease one chain and then work single crochets to your last three chains and then again decrease one more chain. At the end of the row, when you have just three chains left, skip one chain, single crochet two. And work two returning chains. Then again, work just double crochet row. And after the double crochet row, 
work, single crochet row, decreasing two chains, one chain on each side of a row. Work, double crochets to end. When you repeat the four row pattern, decreasing chains about three times, decrease two chains on this side of a row and two chains at the end of the row. So work single crochet two, skip one chain to decrease one chain, again single crochet two, skip one chain and then work single crochets to your last six chains, then again decrease two chains again. At the end of the row, when you crochet to your last six chains, decrease two chains again. Skip one single crochet two. Skip one single crochet two. Now work just one returning chain and turn. Work double crochet row. Decreasing chains. Insert the hook and do the fourth chain from your hook and work double crochet one. Then work one more double crochet. Now work double crochet decrease. Work unfinished double crochet and again unfinished double crochet and finish it. After double crochet decrease again double crochet one. And again double crochet decrease. And one time just double crochet, double crochet decrease, and then work double crochet to end. Double crochet to your last 12 chains and then again work double crochet decrease. Double crochet one and repeat that two more times. Then work and finish double crochet, skip one chain and finish double crochet. Finish it and turn. Now work your single crochet row as this single crochet row. Enter the hook into the second chain from your hook. Work single crochet two, skip one single crochet two. Skip one single crochet to your last six chains. After you decrease two chains at the end of the last single crochet row, work single crochet rounds around the body. Hook second chain, work single crochets. Again, work single crochet rounds around the body, increasing chains in each bottom corner. Add one chain in each round from this side and this side.
To crochet sleeves, count your chains. I have 38 chains. To make the pattern work, you need to have multiples of 4 chains. Attach the yarn and add chains. So just work double crochet one under the double crochet. And then again work double crochet two and then skip two chains, continue the pattern as usual, double crochet two into one chain twice continue to end skip two double crochet two into one chain twice and work the four row pattern as for the body without decreasing chains Work the four row pattern without decreasing chains to about half of your sleeve and then decrease one repeat. So again work double crochet rows as usual and decrease two chains in each single crochet row. Then work the pattern to end and at the end of the sleeve work just single crochet rows. After that, sew sides together. After you sew sleeve sides together, the cardigan is ready and thank you for watching.